Rumor has it that if you pray enough, something good will happen. And Konami got us a band right before the 200th. <sighs> this is what I like. People called me crazy on some of my predictions. Robbie, they'll never ban Goblin. Why would they do that? Oh, no, I don't want Goblin banned. Do you know how many people I heard throughout the comments in all of my videos that said the Goblin was a safe card? No, that's not how this works. You kill Goblin, you allow Masterpiece to effectively stay for another block. So I'll have another in-depth discussion on this. If we get some likes on this video and communicate that with me, um, we'll be doing that. We're going to have V-Jump rolling out. We're going to have a lot of other stuff. I'll try to get my discussion up on this later, but this list is interesting. There's a lot of things that are inherently wrong here. So, Samsara Lotus is now back. That's right. We gotta ban this card. <laughs> Why did I say it was back? So Samsara Lotus causes degenerate OTKs, blah, 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 blah. We need to get this card out of here. Nightmare Goblin. To the 2530 of you that said I was a dumb sack of rocks and that I had no idea what I was talking about when it came to Nightmare Goblin. Robbie one, you zero. This card creates unfair advantages. The reason why this card was so broken was because it was consistent. I don't think a lot of you guys understand that. It, generic cards are bad in terms of this. That's why things like the Brilliant Fusion Package are okay. Now, Invoker also got banned. <sighs> Saw this with like OCG predictions too. Like Invoker just being able to make things go round is kind of bullshit. I'm going to be honest with you. Just three spam is bad. Terror top into Invoker, summon your warrior and start. That's not inherently fair in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm sorry to say that. I'm going to be one of the first people to tell you that I didn't really want to see Invoker go. But honestly, for the way that things have been shaping up lately... Um, we got to try to check Goki as much as we can. So there's that. Are these all of our changes? Yep, that's all of our changes. So Band, Invoker, Nightmare Gobbly, and Samsara Lotus. Limited to Uno. We have A Assault Core. Welp. <laughs> I'm sorry, ABC. Squeeze me. <laughs> um, I There was loops, right, with A Assault Core. I didn't expect this to happen. Um... <laughs> God, they live in an ABC piece. Fucking shit. All right, cool. Well, A Assault Core is limited. I guess I won't have to be seeing ABCs anymore. Stratos! Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God. This 350 years it has been since heroes have been locked away deep in the confines of Egypt. And now they return. I think Japan has two Stratos at this point. So here we are. We've reached this stage in the game's history where Stratos finally fucking returns. The meme is dead, folks. All those emails that you sent to Konami on your lunch breaks all these years, that one guy that's been like, oh, come on, come on, let's get Stratos back, baby. Come on, come on. Yeah, he's back. I wonder, I think Super Poly also came off of this list. I'd be intrigued to see how this pushes things. We're also getting Morphin Jar. Now, this is the strange one to me. I have a TP2 Jar sitting off to the side. Now, I know I don't, I don't think there's anything too degenerate you can do with Morphin Jar, but the last I knew, generic draw power, especially the effect of a flip effect monster, was kind of broken. I, I don't, I don't know. This is probably going to push Morphin Jar value through the roof. Also, remember, your highest rarity Stratos is the Pharaoh's Tour, the common that doesn't exist that exists. Uh, Pharaoh's Tour Stratos was a uh, previous printing. Uh, it's a common, like the Royal Omega Pack. Also, uh, the best Stratos is the French one, because it says Airman on it. So, if you're representing heroes in any fucking way, now is your chance. Like, this is the biggest thing I've ever seen. Also, Morphin Jerk coming back. I There's something I can't, like... If if I couldn't put my finger on it right now, it would be, it would be what's going on with Morphin Jar here. I'll come back to that one at another point. Heavy Force Electromite limited to one. I were we afraid of Pendulum Magician that much? Like I understand Electromite just came back, but I don't see any real hits here on just anything else like. That's strange. And then Omega getting hit as well. 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, three Omega for degenerate loops, being able to pierce your opponent's hand. It wasn't good, but I guess they were worried about the new Synchro Monsters just being that crazy. Um, was Forbidden Elemental Hero Exiton Knight? Yeah. Yeah. He's finally back. I'm not too happy about him being back, but he's back. Uh, Hero Lives limited to one. So, a Hero Lives going to one. This is to counteract... Uh, what was it, the bullshit that the OCG was doing with Goki, or you would slam a Hero Libs on the table, and you would be able to bring out um, Stratos into Malicious. I think that this is a fair hit. Like, it kind of checks Malicious's value, but still. Hmm. Why is... So, I guess the prediction about card destruction in the, uh, the buyout earlier in the week uh, was something strange. Hmm. So, card destruction is actually back. I wonder what made people think that this card was not going to come back much sooner. I mean, Tribe Infecting Virus is still banned here. So, in the grand scheme of things, I, I still think card destruction is a pile of shit. Don't get me wrong. Um, I guess there's still cool things that you can do with it. It definitely helps danger. But, this is still pretty goddamn bad. So, there's that. Do, 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 do. Oh, cool. Look, our, our hit on Sky Strikers. I found it. Hornet drones to one. Cool. So now Sky Strikers just turned into what the OCG were cooking, Needle Fiber Turbo. Um, okay, this is this is what needed to happen. When I was talking about this, um, I was... If you don't touch Hornet drones to one and Kagari to one, then unfortunately you create this premise for the deck where Hornet drones could still be at three in Splashable, um, but if you hit Kagari, then you would make it not the best deck. Well, unfortunately, still looks like Sky Striker is going to be the best deck here. Unless I'm missing something here. Oh boy, Super Polly's back! <laughs> what the fuck year did I just walk into? <laughs> well, I mean, we got Mud Dragon, so I guess that's kind of cute. Um, what the fuck else can we... Starving Venom Fusion Dragon? Um, huh. Curious to know what else is going to happen here. Is this it? Wow, cool, so we checked... We checked Pure Sky Strikers by putting Hornet Drones to one. Goki did not get out of this list too good. Uh, Dark Destroyer moved to two. Oh, fuck. Great. Uh, Called by the Grave is now at two as well. Okay. Limited Removal now at two. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scapegoat at two and Terraforming at two. Huh. Well, I only played one terraforming. Scapegoat needed to go to two. This card needs to be a one, actually. Limit removal at two is... Hmm. Cosmos. Interesting. Uh, no longer on the list. Aquila Fort Towers. Cool. This commander... Hmm. No longer on the list. Erratus. Nice. Barrel from a different dimension with semi-limited now at three. And Ring of Destruction now at three. Hmm. Called by the Grave at 2, that that actually kind of hurts. That means that we can no longer play the game where we make an attempt to negate the hand traps. That one actually hurts a lot more than I think people are going to think it's going to. Cosmo moving to 2. Well, how many people are going to try Cosmo with Cyber Dragon running around as a tier 2 deck? I also wonder, looking at this list, the fact that... The Goki engine itself is still intact, but I'm going to be curious to see how people are... I don't think you can U-lock anymore. I think your best board is you went on a Trigate and a Gate, which is not a bad thing. But this limits me to be curious to what developments that we'll be able to see with this now. Um, very curious to see how things are going to change with this list. Uh, Goki Sky Strikers is still going to be up here on the list. ABC just got wrecked. Pendulum's got an undeadly blow. Heroes return to the competition as a tier one deck. Uh, minus a hero lives. That that part kind of sucks. I, why is America so afraid of a hero lives? Why did we have to touch that? I mean, I, it makes sense. That buyout that has been doing on this card is oh god, that sucks if you're holding on to these. Honestly, but Morphin Jar and card destruction back also seems incredibly dangerous to me. I don't know. So, something about my old player sense here is being like, hmm, that doesn't look right to me. 
And then other me is like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> That's all I got for this video, guys. Please, in the comment down below, do you guys want more NIF discussion on this? Please, tell me about it, and I'm out, guys. Peace, Rooney. Where's our construct, by the way? The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.